Hey guys, just a disclaimer that this is a pair of shoes that I bought with my own money from Pro Direct Running. I am not sponsored nor am I being paid in any way, shape or form to make this video. So with that out of the way, let's dive straight in. Okay, so I managed to get this pair on Pro Direct Running and it's a bit beat up from being imported from the UK. But inside the box, you have this uh, shoe bag that comes with most of their racing options. You have the actual dragonflies here and the thing to like screw it on, like the spike screw. Okay, and here it is in all its glory. So the upper of this shoe is a thin breathable mesh upper and it has a lot of perforations in it to keep your feet cool during a workout or during a race. Now the back of this shoe has this weird hole that most of your Nike spikes have. I'm not exactly sure what it's for but a lot of my friends tell me that it's for a better fit. Of note, there is a nice dragonfly here that nobody can really see but it's a nice touch to it. The laces have this um, wavy pattern that helps keep the lacing together during your workout or during a race. So you don't have to worry about not having a secure fit. Mm, overall the aesthetic of this spike, I, I think it looks great. It's one of the best looking spikes I've ever purchased with my own money. It has a nice colorway and I love the design of like everything from the swoosh to the spike plate to even the spikes themselves with this like really interesting like rainbow kind of metal looking thing like it's made of burnt metal kind of color thing not exactly sure what it's called but tell me in the comments if you do know mm, the midsole of this shoe is where it's at for me it uses nike's zoom x foam which is the same uh, foam that you see in the elf fly and the vapor fly and we all know about those shoes by now they provide an insane amount of energy return and likewise i would expect this in this shoe i mean Come on, like just squeezing this, right? I can feel the bounce and I can feel the energy return. Well, the midsole also uses this um, full length rigid plastic plate. It's not a carbon plate that you see in the Nike Air Zoom Victory, but I think it's plenty rigid for its purpose. This shoe is recommended for the 1005 all the way up to the 10k, and I think it would definitely suit that role. Alright, with that, uh, I'll see you at the track. Alright guys, we're going to be trying out the dragonflies in a bit, but before anything else, we need to warm up. So let's... Alright guys, so I brought my Nike Mamba 5s here just for the sake of comparison. Uh, because I believe that the Mamba 5 was the last shoe by Nike before all this uh, Zoom X stuff came into the picture. So I think one major comparison that I see with the Mamba and the Dragonfly is that uh, I think the mesh material is different in the Mambas. Like they feel like a bit more akin to the next percent, uh, the paper weave material, where it doesn't trap as much water as the Dragonfly. So I'm curious to see how this holds, uh, holds up in rainy conditions or events like the steeplechase. Another comparison would be, in the Mamba in particular, they have these little studs somewhere in like the middle part of the shoe and I believe that it helps a lot more with traction, especially for events like the steeplechase. Uh, also, there are these little like spike things over here that helps uh, a little bit more of traction in the forefoot. Compared to the Dragonfly, you don't see any of these studs over here and you see there's pretty much nothing um, like gripping onto the track besides these spikes over here. So I am curious as to uh, how um, dragonflies will perform in terms of traction as well uh, as for the steeplechase. Um, I mean because of this, I believe that the Mambas would be a bit of a better option for events like the 800 meters, especially because uh, I would say there's better traction and also a bit more aggressive of a spike plate. Whereas in the Dragonflies, I would say that it's a bit more akin to the Matumbos and um, the Zoom X cushioning would help more for events like the 5k and 10k, uh, and maybe even the 1005. I mean, you all, see, you all have seen Jakob Ingebrigtsen uh, wear this for the 1005 and um, it worked out for him. So yeah, 1005 and above, 1005 and below, and maybe Steeplechase uh, just because of the extra traction. Alright, so right off the bat, just walking in them, I would like to say that they feel a bit different from the traditional spikes. It feels like there's a lot more room in like the toe box over here. And um, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, because I do agree that like, there is fear that the grip 
sorry, the fit of the shoe wouldn't be as great. But um, you know what? Let's go for a run in them and see how they feel. Um, but I would like to say that also, it doesn't feel like there's any uh, need to size up. I mean, sorry, I don't think there's any need to size down from the shoe. Uh, so let's just try them out. Okay, so we're gonna be testing these things out with uh, four by four hundred strides. I had a pretty hard workout like this morning, so I wouldn't want to do anything too crazy. But um, let's just try this out in race days, alright? After running in these, what do I think? Well, the issue with the toe box uh, that I mentioned earlier didn't turn out to be an issue at all. It pretty much fits more like, pretty much the same as the next percent. And if you're used to the feel of the next percent, then you'll be used to the fit of this. Uh, would I say that it's still bigger than a traditional track spike? Definitely yes, but is it a problem? No. Now would I pick this over the next percent for a track race and maybe the 5k or 10k? I mean, I definitely would. It has a Zoomax cushioning which really like helps protect my legs and I'm pretty fatigued from this morning's workout. So like the strides are pretty easy in these, they're pretty comfortable and I didn't feel much fatigued so I think I'll be ready for tomorrow's training. Um, also additionally, like come on, it's a spike. Like compared to the next percent, there's always going to be more traction in the spike. And that's what you're looking out for in your track races, you know that torsional rigidity and that ability to grip onto the track to propel you forward. And combine the ZoomX uh, cushioning, I think this is a great option for your 5K, 10K and probably, probably the best pair of spikes that I've ever bought. And I probably see it being the best pair of spikes around for the 5K and 10K. So with that, uh, yeah, thank you guys and I'll see you next time.